Welcome. Thanks so much for joining me for this uh, overview and quick start guide for the module six journal. This one is all about the role of human consumption in sustainability. And I think you might have gotten that sense about excessive consumption here from this little uh, GIF that's running. So I'd like to ask you to think back to the working definition of sustainability that we constructed in the very first module of the course and in how the definition has been expanded upon and refined over these six modules. All right, great. So now you're ready to begin on the journal assignment for module six. In this assignment, you'll be using the video note tool to record your responses to a series of prompts. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy and go through this thing step by step. The first step in getting started on your module six journal assignment is to review the assignment guidelines. As you will see, this journal assignment asks you to reflect on your personal consumption habits over the course of several days. Now this is due on Sunday, so that means you are going to need to get started on this earlier in the week. Please make sure that you read through the prompts before starting with that tracker. This will prepare you to collect only the information you will need to complete the tracker and the assignment. I really recommend that you use the tracker template that's available for you to download. You're going to find it uh, towards the bottom of the guidelines and rubric page in module six in Brightspace. So let's go ahead and take a look at that tracker template. Here is the consumption tracker template. You're going to want to organize your responses to each of the prompts. You don't need to submit the tracker. It's there for your use only to get organized for this assignment. Here's how I like to use the tracker. First, I review the categories and then I add in any categories that I think reflect my behavior. For example, one of the categories I add is a household category. It helps me separate tasks I do such as household cleaning and maintenance making it easy to comment on them in the journal. So I'm really curious to see what other categories you add. Then I print the tracker out so I can keep it handy. I decide which day I will start with, and then I use post-it notes as reminders in conspicuous places around my home. Put one in my car, put one in my office, put one in my kitchen. Those post-it notes remind me to add to the tracker right away instead of trying to remember everything at the end of the day. And then finally, I put my plan into action and I complete that tracker over two or three days. The next thing you wanna do is carefully review the prompts on the guidelines and rubric page of module six, just one more time. And then take a few minutes to jot down your responses to each of the prompts. I like to think of this as writing a summary statement from the data on the tracker. Doing this is gonna help you when you go to record your video note. Next, remember that your video note should be at least two to three minutes in length. You may actually want to write a script and practice reading through it before you record your video note. I think it really helps with comfort. If you're a little uncomfortable with doing that video note, go ahead and write out a script, give it a quick run through first, and then you'll be more comfortable with it. So in each case, make sure that you respond to each part of each prompt. Finally, be thoughtful. The first time I did this assignment myself as I prepared to, to teach this course, I found it to be really quite powerful. In fact, it helped me to make a few changes that I think will help me be more sustainable. So I hope it does the same thing for you. Finally, let's take a couple of minutes here to review the rubric before we get started. I want you to go through the rubric before you start on the assignment, then come back to it before you record your video note. Make sure that you've met all the criteria. So let's go through row by row. That first row, consumption habits. Here, did you provide a complete analysis of your consumption behaviors over a few days? And then on the discovery line, how were you able to reflect on your consumption in each of the categories, especially with regard to whether your behaviors were harmful or helpful? Were you able to provide examples? Next, changes. If our shared goals are to move towards more sustainable habits, such as reducing waste, using cleaner forms of energy more often, and being more efficient in our use of resources, 
were you able to identify changes that you can make both short term and longer term? Did you share specific examples? And then finally, clear communication. This one's a little bit different now since we're doing this as a video note, but were you able to communicate your reflection and your ideas in a clear and concise manner? Was your presentation well organized? Were you able to weave in vocabulary that you've learned in the course so far? And this is in particular where I recommend that you really do use this rubric as a guide and that you write down a script or at least bullet points that you want to follow during your video note. I think that will help you a lot. Okay, watch out, here comes this crazy guy again. So thank you for joining me for this module six journal introduction. If you have any questions, as always, reach out to me on email. Happy to help. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.